<laughs> uh, how good does it feel to get that loss avenged? Oh, I didn't even think about the loss. I, no? That's a, it's not even like about anything. I needed that surgery so bad that it's like, uh, in my head, I don't consider it a loss. I really don't. Right. Um, it was just cool to be in Mexico, man. This is this is a, a dream come true, you know? And uh, I, I, don't, I don't get to travel the world often. I, I've never been around or anything. So the fact that I get to like live my dream and travel the world is just the coolest shit ever. And uh, man, man, it was cool. It's cool to be in a fight. It was just cool to just like sit there the fifth round. I, I knew uh, I knew he'd sit there and bang with me that last minute or that last so, and that was fun too. And it's just like I'm just happy to be here, man. I'm happy to be living my dream. And uh, man, uh, obviously a lot of adrenaline. A very emotional night for you on the walkout. You could see it in your face. I can see it in you now. We could all feel it in the whole entire night. I mean, this yeah. was really an important victory for you, wasn't it? Yeah, man. I just needed to pull myself out of a dark place, huh? <laughs> After after losing that title shot, I was I was not doing good mentally. Uh, they offered me this fight, and I've never been so like I need I need something like that. I needed an opportunity. I needed a, a main event. So it was like something to drag me out of bed. Going to Mexico, fighting for Brandon Moreno is a privilege. He's scary, and I knew uh, I'm in the back room, and it's like you know you're in for a war. You know, like uh, at best, at best, it's like you know I'm either gonna get I'm gonna get owned or you know like. But, uh, if, if I get a W, it's going to be a war. This guy's not easy to finish, not easy to take out. And uh, I knew I was in for a, in for a crazy night. And uh, shout out to him for taking the fight, too, because it's like, you know, I'm not Amir Albazi. I, I finish fights. I, I go for the kill. I hurt people. And uh, that's that couldn't have been easy to say yes. When you're going to go against a wrestler, then all of a sudden you're going against someone trying to take your head off. And uh, I don't know. It, it was it was cool. I, I, I don't know what happened, but I missed the kick right away. And my knee like it like popped. It did something weird, and I couldn't put weight on it. And uh, right off the bat, I'm like, I don't know what it is about this kid, but like I break. I'm breaking. I go, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna break. And uh, I'm happy I could push through. I'm happy I could fight another 25 minutes after that, or 24 <laughs> minutes after that. And uh, I'm just happy to be here, man. I'm just, I'm lucky. I'm blessed. And uh, what, a, what an adventure. What a life. What an incredible fight, too. I mean, yeah. amazing to watch you work through that adversity. I, talk to us about that, because we could see from here that the knee was affecting you. But then it seemed like at one point you just kind of shut it out, maybe. Did, did it get better, or did you just kind of mentally <laughs> say, forget it, let's just go? No, it didn't. It was the scariest thing ever, because like, uh, my whole game plan is to kick Moreno. Moreno's pretty heavy on his feet, like on his foot. My whole game plan is land kicks, kicks, kicks. And within a second, within a minute, my whole game plan almost went out the window. But then I'm like, I, I got to do it, you know? And uh, that was one of my big regrets against Pantoja. I stopped kicking, and it's like, I need to kick to win this fight. Uh, and I, I needed that. So I just made a decision. I'm like, all right, well, I can't abandon my best weapon right now. I can't abandon uh, this left kick. He was circling to it a little bit. And uh, I just decided, I'm like, all right, well, if this is how I go out, then this is how I'm going to go out. And uh, I was like, but this is also how I'm going to get to victory, too. So it's just like, I, I got to do it, you know? You could hear, I mean, you were you were following the game plan that Coach Mark was shouting. <laughs> I mean, it was like he was, you know, playing playing a video game out there. When could you feel the momentum in this fight start to shift a little bit? I felt like I won all, um, maybe all but one round. Uh, I wasn't really sure about the last round, and there may be, like, a, a middle round in there, but I for sure thought I had three rounds at least. Uh, I felt like he was kind of tentative, and... Uh, I was, oh man, I, I worked on my wrestling defense so hard that I was just happy I could, I could not just stay on my back. I wasn't staying on my back too long, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, what a life, man. What a crazy two months. <laughs> what a crazy really, two months. Truly. I was getting my butt kicked two months ago by Pantoja. And I'm like, I need to make these adjustments. I, I need to make these adjustments to be a champion. Uh, Pantoja made amazing adjustments. And it's like, if I could look at him and take something away from him, it would be that. So, uh. I immediately was like, I need to make these adjustments, and uh, I had two, I had six weeks to work it, so I did it, you know. And so it was cool, man. What a cool life. Well, <laughs> I gotta ask you this. You know, we're here, we're at elevation. I know you train in Denver, yeah. but the longer the fight went, you just started to pick up the pace. Was this part of the game plan, or did you just kind of start to feel like you had more to give? You you put out 489 strikes. I don't know if you're aware. You almost tapped into 500 over 25 minutes. Yeah. Was that part of the game plan, or were you just feeling like? you were conditioned enough to put on that kind of pace the later the fight went. I kind of thought he wasn't, I kind of felt like he was feeling it a little bit. So maybe like in my head, I was, and like I could be wrong, I could be 100% wrong, but in my head, that's the decision I made. I was like, uh, I think he might be feeling it. So like, I, I just need to put out a little bit more. I didn't have too much sting on my punches, which is embarrassing, but uh, 
I, I knew I needed to just pick it up a little bit. Uh, and I feel like that's that's how I do it, man. I My first rounds are always not the best. My second rounds, I come out a little stronger. And uh, it's like when we do our drills, when we do strength and conditioning, it's always my fourth and fifth round that I'm killing it. And uh, it was really cool just that that I can kind of hold to fruition on that one. <laughs> well, the, the one thing I want to go back on is you were talking about how at best, you could expect a war. I want to know what's going on in your head in the locker room, because you're talking about, it sounds like after the Pantoja fight, you're in a little bit of a dark place, and you're telling us, at best, I'm in, I'm in for a war. So how do you get ready mentally to get out there and get yourself the confidence to go out and put on that kind of performance? <laughs> Did, did I have confidence out there? I don't, know. I don't feel like I was exuberating confidence out there at all, but uh, I just knew, like, oh, I'm here. I told myself that I told myself that before in the, in the cage. It's just like, I, I can't go back. I can't go back in the back anymore. Like, I got to go forward. I got to go forward. And uh, that's what I was telling myself in my head. I was like, like I'm, I can't go back. I, I got to go forward. So uh, I, I wanted to leave because <laughs> I wanted to leave when, there, when he was walking out. I'm like, this whole, the whole world's against me right now. And it was just like, so be it, man. So be it. So be it, man. But they're not against you, though, and that was one thing I thought that was great afterwards. You said, look, yeah. I have the same heart as you guys. Everything you love about Brandon Royval, I have the, I'm the same kind of person, and it really did show tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I believe that to the fullest, man. I, I take that to heart when I'm like, uh, when I go fight, I'm like, I got that Mexican blood in me. That, that's, yeah. you see the Mexican boxers, bro, they're, they're going to go forward the whole time. They're going to put out a bunch of punches. They're going to be in your face the whole time. And it's like, that's how I wanted to be today. And uh, that's how I fight. That's, uh, and that's, like I said, that's not me. That's something I was born with. That was, that's this. This is this place, you know? It's not me. Well, it was incredible, and thank you so much for making the effort, not only in that fight, but to come up here, up here as well, because that was yet another battle. But listen, Brandon, that How was... How are we going to get down? I don't know. Yeah. We're yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. an elevator Coach over there. Coach is going to carry you. Yeah. 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 Coach is going to carry Coach you. Coach Mark will carry you to victory lane. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, well, thank you so much for joining us, and I mean, congratulations on just truly an epic, epic victory tonight, Brandon. Hey, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, you guys. for.